As I said, all that studying for what? Dude, I'm honestly like, I'm so sick of these comments because it's like, I chose to do this. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't think you understand. Like, I am like beyond this, I'm well-rounded. I'm educated. Half of the shit that I do is because I choose to do it. So all you out there, I'm probably smarter than you. I've made it this far at 21 without a college degree. However the I did it doesn't matter. I bet you if only things went away tomorrow, I would still find a way to be successful, no matter what. Like, that's the thing with these OnlyFans models is they get real defensive when they get, you know, put in a place where it kind of defines who they are morally. She states that, you know, she chose to do this and she's got a degree and all this and all that, but the degree is not where she's making her bank from. The degree is from, the degree is not making her any wealthier. It's the degrading choice that she made to sell her body that's making her bank. Otherwise, no one would know anything about her. I don't know anything about her. I don't subscribe to OnlyFans models, so you're just an average chick. And this is the thing. A lot of these females, they don't want to be average. They want to live an above average life, but they are not willing to put in the work to get there. So she sits here and says that she would be rich either way, but that is all cap because if that was the case, then why would you do the most degrading thing to get rich? All that studying for what? Like, bro, half of the billionaires didn't go to college. Just because I'm monetizing on a platform that's booming today doesn't mean I'm a f Someone's a little mad. Shut up. So do you just come on here to piss me off? Like, you're supposed to be my brother. No, no, no I come here to- I Like, you're supposed to, to show me love, you. not be against me. I come on here to tell you the truth. What the f*** are you talking about? What's when the you, truth? So, when you leave here to go to Miami, you're living out your life. But yeah, then you I'm just forget you, sh you just forget whatever happens in North Carolina and what happens to me at school. Like I I get like bullied, but not like bullied, like punched at, but people just say shit and that pisses me off. And like I just wish that stop because whatever you doing here affects me at North Carolina. So you know, S work is obviously something that stains reputations, especially those of family members and children. This guy, this, this this teenager, however old he is, is in school in a whole other state getting bullied because of what his older sister does online. And this is quite common. A lot of mothers or moms out there that do OnlyFans, their children end up getting bullied. And a lot of these children end up committing, you know, S-word or deleting themselves. But she doesn't care because it's all about the bank. So why do you still come here then? Because it's better than be, North Carolina. That's what I'm saying though, but you don't have to be a You don't have to be filming videos with me. Bro, I'm not holding you hostage. You can leave. Okay, I will then. All right. Give me the fuck out of here. No, I'm done. Give me the fuck out of here. Do you really think I'm not a good sister? Well, it's not that you're not a good sister. It's just you got to think that your actions don't just have, like, doesn't affect not just only you, but it also affects me. Like, next year, I'm going to be applying for colleges, and I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do that with things that are on the internet. I might not even be able to get a girlfriend, because people, like, they already know. Um, in public, people ask me, do you really like your sister? Do you really approve of this? Like, I actually don't think this could work in my future. I, Christian, with everything that I'm doing, like, I've never once wanted it to affect you like this. Bro, I'm sorry. I really don't want it to affect there's, you. There's nothing else I can say. Like, you f everything up. I'm leaving. Bro. This is why antidepressants are at an all time high amongst fem females and women because what happens is they give themselves to make money and they find out that money does not buy happiness.
and all the things that affect them around them family and goals like that that towards you know an honorable wealthy sustainable life kind of goes down the drain but what happens is they have money but money does not equal happiness so they still live in a state of depression hi i love your shorts they're so cute thank you april fools Isn't it kind of funny that now that women work, all the jobs they do are just stuff they would have done at home? Like, y'all really convince women to go take care of other people's children and other sick people and go manage other people's finances instead of just doing that for their family. And in doing so, now you've doubled the tax base and if they don't want to work, their husband has to work twice as hard and also convince them that even if he is working 80 hours a week, he has to come home and do 50% of the chores. It's almost like the whole point of this was like to turn women into wage slaves and like break the American family in half by like commodifying their natural proclivities and telling them that being a stay-at-home mom is a bad idea. Now we have like half the successful marriages, half the children being born, and your dollar goes half as far. Ha ha, yay! But it's not all despair. Like, fellas, if you find a good girl, you should make sure that you can work as hard as you possibly can to keep her home with the kids. And ladies, by the way, if you find a good guy, which is not a guy who will use you as a human fleshlight that you met at the club, and if enough of them succeed, what does that really say about you? All that man wants is cooking, cleaning, children and shut the up every once in a while oh and don't use sex as a weapon it's evil if you can do those like five things you're more valuable than gold never mind 25 dollars an hour to look after somebody else's shitty kids now you get to do all these things that you like to do for your loving family who cares about you instead of trying to do that and work for a giant corporation that doesn't care if you live or die or being an indoctrination camp babysitter it's actually a way better idea welcome to feminism one of the greatest human psychological hustles that has ever been created in mankind. Where females believe that they don't need a man, but they need a dollar. Only to hit the wall and realize they still want a man who has lots of dollars. Make it make sense. I cheat all the time. Are you a cheater? Yeah. Uh, repetitively. Unfortunately, I get bored. Uh, it's not that the partner's not good enough. It's that I'm bored. Mm -hmm. I constantly want new things. I am like constantly on the lookout for like something that's going to just spark me. Yeah, but doesn't that mean that you just don't like the guy? Shouldn't you just break up with him then? Yeah, yeah absolutely. But I don't because you know what? I'm at least getting somewhere. But then the and other I person kinda, gets uh, Sometimes I do on. have feelings. Yeah, yeah. But this is this is the thing. They'll never find out that they're being cheated on. I'll just break up with them. No, I'm dead serious. They'll never fucking find out. You just said so you'll cheat and then break up. Yeah, but you could just break up and then just and then just fuck whoever you want. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But the cheating is like it's a fantasy. So it's like oh, this is exciting for me to cheating. cheat because it's actually cheating. If I break up with him and then I go fuck someone, it's just a rebound. I think she just told on herself because a lot of these females, they all pretty much live in some sort of final fantasy where nothing real actually matters and having lots of money is enough drug to stay high from all the bull of reality because what she just said makes no sense in reality. But hey, what do I know? No, I mean, I get it. I get Nala. it. You should get it. I mean, most Nala. people cheat. Everybody yes, I think a, I, I think Jesus a lot of people Christ. cheat. Jesus Christ. Just break up with something mean. Just break up with the dude. Yeah. What? That's not mean. That's not mean. How is it mean if they never <laughs> find out about it? <laughs> oh, yes, 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 To this fight. 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 such a dark dark time in my life before you started only fans like what would you say to yourself or do i would shake myself and tell her that girl right there how worth how worth it she is you know how special she actually is i was just believing the lies the lies of the world the lies of you know 
myself. I lied to myself so much about it. I do feel like God's gonna use me to reach people in this industry. Like, I don't think I made it to top 0.01% for God not to use me. I was such a numb person. And if I could save somebody from going through that or potentially starting that, I will do it. So this OnlyFans star decides to get baptized. You know, to me, I think Baptism is not the way to God. It's one of the things that are required, but repentance is all in all what's required. And a lot of people think that, you know, you can say some words or, you know, sing some hymns and, you know, you're made holy and now the Lord is ready to use you. And these times you were like the biggest drug dealer, murderer, you know, three or four ex ex worker alive with millions, and then you know God's gonna use you for the glory. I mean, if that's glory of God, I don't want that God. Let me be objective about this. People. If you're 31 years old as a woman and you haven't been able to find a guy to take you seriously that you actually that's respect, admire, single. hold on, stop. If you're not, if, if you're in your 30s and you haven't found a man to that you love, admire, and respect, oh, that's yeah. gonna take you serious and reciprocate. You failed as a female. You know, the truth is, success and failure are two different concepts when it comes to men and women. A man, his success is actually being able to provide and protect his family and also having a family. The success for a woman is being able to meet that man and get commitment from that man and provide a family. So failure for a man is not being successful, not being able to protect and not having a family. Failure for a woman is not being able to get commitment from a quality man who can protect her and provide for her and age out and not have any children. It's two different things. So you know thank you all for watching don't forget to click the like drop me a comment and make sure you subscribe until next time